I'm going to show you guys how to change your stainless steel bracelet on your own at home. We need a special tool. The Omega Boutique in Zurich was kind enough to give me a tool like that. And we have, of course, a small container for the pins, making sure that we are not losing them. As a first step, I'm going to take this one out. There you go. And slowly slide it out. It's quite easy. There you go. And yes, I managed to do it. As you can see, I successfully removed the strap. By the way, <laughs> I got my surgical gloves on. So let's look at this beauty together. I'm trying to do a close-up. As we can see, I did not scratch the lugs, so I was quite afraid of doing it, but at the end I managed to get away without scratches. This is the green dial version with the ceramic inlay. And now we are going to put back the stainless steel bracelet. So let's continue. So I just took out the pin and I'm just going to put it in here. What is the method? You see the Omega? You always the two omega signs has to match. What I mean by that, you see, I'm, I'm facing this way, you can read the omega, yeah? And this is what you need to do, that you are putting that here, okay? So the two omegas are omega on the dial and omega on the bracelet has to look the same way. And this is how you are going to, to do it. And we are going to do it together now. As you can see, is there. Let's remove the bracelet. And I continue this process until the bracelet is loose. At least trying to pick it up and putting it away done again making sure that the pin is being removed and put back to a safe place we don't want anything to be missing, do we? This is the green dial Seamaster 300M, as you can see. A really nice watch. Wondering which way to put it back on? Very simple. You have to be below the 300 meters. So, this side of the strap is going below the 300 meters there. Yes, the trick really is you have to do it from above. 
and like that you come here and you always doing it from above with that angle because if you do it with that angle it will surely pop in yes that is the trick my friends you have to do it from that angle And then done as we can see we put back it on so guys it is not impossible <laughs> but please don't check the time because it took me way too much uh, but there's got to be a first time for everything so I did it first time myself no scratches that's very good and I got the rubber strap back on again. Overall, I'm very satisfied with the tool that I have been given by the Omega Boutique Zurich. Once again, thank you for the tool. And it's really easy, easy peasy. <laughs> Once you know the trick that you have to hold it in that angle, in like a 45 degree angle. Once you get that, trick in your head you are done within 10-15 seconds but until then uh, you just keep on trying my friend <laughs> thank you for watching and those of you who stayed long enough as usual get a little surprise so as usual whoever stayed until the end of the video gets a little surprise let's look at these beauties together we have the top tier here the chronograph one of the best watches of omega the seamaster chronograph in my opinion with this new ceramic dial this is the black dial version in the middle we have the white dial seamaster or you can say the great white shark and we have the seaweed on the left and I don't know guys which one I like better because I love them both equally you let me know in the comments below which one would you choose thank you for watching and see you next time